Hey everyone, it's Paige. We are back for a YouTube video today and I was on the golf course the other day and a marshal came up and he said, Paige, I watch your YouTube videos and I was like, thank you. <laughs> and he's like, I would love if you could talk about how to hit the ball farther. He's like, I'm a little older now. I don't hit the ball the way I used to. So can you give me some exercises and some drills to help me hit the ball farther? I was like, I got you, this is for you. Uh, to the guy talking stick, this is the video. But before we get into hitting it farther, some exercises in the gym you can do, and some drills that you can do, we're gonna talk about how important fuel is to your body, and I'm gonna thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I really wanna thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company, and Green Chef is great depending on whatever uh, lifestyle you have, vegan, vegetarian, paleo, keto, or just like food like me. <laughs> Here are the three that I was thinking of eating for lunch because they sounded so delicious. So we have the lemon mustard chicken, the pineapple teriyaki meatloafs, and then the barbecue pork cheeseburgers. You know, this is really speaking to me right now. When I read this, I was like, yes, get in my belly. This is what I'm gonna have because it sounds delicious and I can't wait to make it. Green Chef lets you choose from a wide array of easy to follow lifestyles with select organic ingredients. Recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along. Everything is hand-picked and delivered right to your door. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. You can switch up your meal plan whenever you're ready to try new ways to eat. It offers nine recipes to choose from weekly within every meal plan. Green Chef offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking. For $90 off across your first five Green Chef boxes, go to greenchef.us slash page 90 and enter code page 90. So as you can see, it was really simple and easy to make, even if you are not the best chef like myself. So if you are interested in Green Chef, I'm gonna put my code right here i'm gonna hold this up right here i'm gonna have all the information here but it's page 90 for 90 dollars off for your first five boxes so i'll put the link down below so you guys can check it out and remember code is page 90. you can get delicious meals like this and i'm sorry i can't be there to cook it for you you're gonna have to do it yourself uh, but if i can do it anyone can do it and look how delicious that looks i mean i can't wait to dig in so we're gonna start off with some exercises that really focus in on our core and our legs. And all you're going to need is a medicine ball. So this is my medicine ball. It is 14 pounds. Nico loves the medicine ball. And we're gonna do some squats. And another variation of this is going to be a squat jump. So again, through all of the exercises that I'm gonna to do today, just keep in mind that you can modify it in any way to fit your fitness level. So again, if I'm showing you something that feels a little bit too difficult, or it just doesn't feel quite right, you don't even have to use the medicine ball for these two exercises. So again, keep that in mind. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the medicine ball almost like, just whatever feels comfortable. You can go under, you can go around. I like to do it under. And then all I'm gonna do is just do a squat. So I'm going to have your legs fairly wide, toes pointed just slightly out. And then I like to sit back in my heels and stand back up. For this, you don't want to feel like your knees are going in front of your toes. So you really want to sit back on your heels and it's like you're sitting into a chair. And then at the top, you really want to squeeze as hard as you possibly can. For the squats, you're going to do four sets of 12. And after that, I'm going to do four sets of 10 squat jumps. So basically, all you're gonna do is the exact same movement that I showed you, but instead of standing up, you're going to jump up out of that squat position. So, you can do this with or without a medicine ball. I'll show you without first so you can just get the technique. So squat down, jump up. Straight side. And then I do it with a medicine ball, just give me a little extra weight, make it a little bit harder. <laughs> Squat down. So we're gonna do four sets of 10. 
Now I'm going to show you why squats will help you gain more power on the golf course. If you notice on my screen, I have a very active lower body. And I actually, when I come down, have a squat movement, squat, kind of a little bit of a drop. It's my knee separating and I get in that squat position. So squatting, kind of a dip down. This is really great because a lot of people, when they swing, they don't use their lower body. And so they don't even really rotate back. And then they just kind of jump up on it and there's really no down up movement. So that is why squats are so great because of that little squat movement that you're gonna get through your swing, which is gonna add so much power when you're hitting your drivers. Next we're gonna do wood chop. So it's a squat down movement. And when I squat down, I'm gonna bring the ball to my left side and then I'm gonna turn up and through it and then back down. And then you're gonna do four sets of 10 on each side. So then I'm gonna go down to my right side, up to my left. You're gonna superset wood chops with ball slams. So what you're gonna do is hold on to it, throw it up, and then throw it down on the ground as hard as you possibly can. Pick it back up, do the same thing. The ball throws are great because one, you're building strength, but you're also training your fast twitch muscles to move faster. I know if I'm even getting older, I'm not swinging as fast as I once used to, and yeah, you're like page you're 27, but you know what? <laughs> Father time's catching up to me. And doing these exercises, I, I feel so much stronger and more solid. My base is stronger, and that way I have more of a solid base to swing faster and harder through it. And again, building those fast twitch muscles, you gotta train that, and we lose that as we get older. So that's why the ball throws are great in the witch hops because you're focusing on the two core, your core and your legs. Next thing we're gonna do is ball throws. And this is great, again, for your core and training that fast twitch muscle. I wanna say this because it's really important. If you do one thing on one side, do it on the other as well. Even though maybe you swing righty or lefty, you're like, oh, I only need to do ball throws on that one side to train that side. No, you wanna do it both sides because you want to be equally strong because even though you're turning and rotating this way, if one side is weaker than the other side, then you're gonna to have to overcompensate and that's where kind of weird little things can creep into your swing. So again, if you're doing something on one side, train it on the other side and that's what we do with the ball throws. So I'm just gonna hold it as if I just normally, and I'm gonna bend over my golf swing and I'm almost doing like a golf swing as I'm rotating through it. And when I get here to the release point, as you would in a golf swing, that's where you let go of the ball. So you're gonna do four sets of 10 on each side. And like I said earlier, you have to do it. If you want one side, you have to do it on the other side. I also want to add that you need to find a way where you can do good technique and really focus on controlling your movements. I don't want to see you out here doing med ball throws and you're sloppy and turning around and throwing with your hips because that's not what you want to be doing in your swing. So if the weight is too heavy, drop it down and really get good technique when you're doing all of these exercises. I think ball throws are one of the most beneficial exercises when it comes to strengthening your golf swing. Because one, you are basically mimicking your exact golf swing with the ball. And so you're turning back, you're throwing it through, and you get comfortable and used to really like forcing your body through it instead of staying here and getting a little lazy and dipping back and kind of slowing it down. With the ball, you really have to force it through and also it gets that release point too because if you throw the ball and your hands are too far to the right, the ball is going right. If you turn them over too much, ball is going left and what does that remind you of? Your golf swing. If I'm coming in and my club is open and my hands are here, ball is shooting way right. If I get a little quick with it, I turn it over, 
ball is going left. So you really have to work on your release when you're throwing it and that translates so well into your golf swing where you're having that fast twitch muscles, you're forcing it through and you're really getting that release point. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Something a little bit different than what I normally do, but hopefully you'll be implementing everything that I talked about. You'll be hitting it farther, better than ever. So again, if you enjoy this type of video, leave a comment down below on if you want me to talk about maybe a different muscle group and how it applies to your golf swing or more of the exercises that I do that helps me hit it better. So again, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out content every Thursday. And we have something exciting coming up as well that I can't wait to talk about, which means more YouTube content. And I seriously am so excited about it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're hitting it farther. Maybe with all of the exercises and technique I talked about today, you'll be the next Bryson Dishon about bombing it on the golf course. I also want to thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Of course, you need to fool your body to push it to those limits in the gym and on the golf course and in practice. So again, they fueled me up, I was good to go, and I crushed it for today's workout. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week.